Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressor feta pule kapas. From that day, the creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. of the kingdom that the bible guarantees as revealed by satan's own testimony that when satan finds men he doesn't tie their hands he doesn't tie their finances he doesn't tie anything he goes straight to their minds the center of illumination and knowledge and that he can cast a spell once that happens how many of you have seen people remove something from a scorpion? There's something they say a scorpion is weak, but once you remove that skin, you can allow it to go around. This is it. Let me show you a scripture. I pray that God will open our eyes to see something powerful tonight. Matthew chapter 13 starts from verse 10 to 17. Jesus. Your Jesus, my Jesus, mentor Jesus. When Jesus is teaching, listen to him. He's communicating an intelligence. Remember, he called himself the light of the world. That means already that name is a threat. I, I, I hope we already identified what scares Satan. That the moment there is the mention of light, Satan is on peace. Now, Jesus did not bring light. He now came and said, I am so when the light is speaking, it means anything he tells you is a weapon of victory. Light me, Lord. 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 that scripture now and the disciples came and said unto him jesus we have a question for you why speakest thou unto them in parables why have you borrowed a system of communication why do you not talk directly why do you borrow from agriculture and borrow from nature and he says it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but unto them it has not been given next verse please it says for whosoever hath to him shall be given and he shall have more abundance and whosoever hath not from him shall be taken even that which he hath that's him it says therefore watch this speak i to them in parables because seeing they see not and hearing they hear not neither do they understand that means i borrowed parables because there is a condition with these people are we together now the the, the parable is like a, a therapy to try to communicate there is a fundamental condition with these people that something has happened to them that although they are looking they are not seeing although you speak they cannot hear and they will not understand 14 it says and in them is fulfilled the prophecy isaiah saw this which say by hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand and seeing ye shall see and not perceive next verse please it says for these people's heart is wax cross and their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes they have what closed less at any time they should see with their eyes hear with their ears they should understand and they should be converted and i should heal them he's revealing a condition jesus is saying when i look at these people although they are looking back at me there is something that the god of this world satan has done to them i will have to use a parable to help them at least understand and that this is the condition that a people can look and yet not see a people can hear and yet not understand are we blessed 
Mm. Therefore, in God's definition, listen carefully, blindness, spiritual blindness, you may want to write this down. As I was preparing, the Holy Spirit gave me a very powerful definition. That blindness in the kingdom and in the spirit is not limited to the closing of your eyes. That blindness in the spirit is also an alteration or a deviation of your perception from actual reality. Write this down. An alteration or a deviation of your perception from actual reality. A deviation, an alteration of your perception from actual reality is blindness. So blindness does not mean you do not have imagery or perception, but that Satan has a way of altering your perception so that you no longer perceive actual reality the bible says it is a strategy that satan used for many years until he ascended the throne to become the god of this world lest at any point they should see with their eyes hear with their ears and they should understand with their hearts please look up that spiritual blindness is the chief tool that Satan used from the time he fell roaming around the length and breadth of this domain that Satan became a master he created all kinds of systems to make sure that light illumination that blindness he plagues the saints with spiritual blindness not by closing their physical eyes but by deviating their perceptions so that although they are seeing but what they are seeing is not reality light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light I want to show you how that the dominion of the saints is at the mercy of many mysteries but chiefest among them is the mystery of open eyes the Bible even said we all with unveiled face it's amazing that the face must be unveiled first before we see and we are changed we all with unveiled face the veil that satan casted that something must happen to you before you behold his glory as in a mirror and then you are changed from glory to glory i want to show you let's study scripture and we're going to look at certain things that that can plague a people when there is blindness and there is no other place to start than to go to genesis 27. let's start from there Genesis 27. I want to show you a powerful mystery. Can you pray in the spirit while you are turning there? Genesis 27. And it came to pass. Please be patient with me. It's a long reading. Just, just look at the projector. When Isaac was old, look up please the bible says his eyes were dim notice that for some reason the bible does not tell us the other things happening to him doesn't seem to care about it the bible now focuses on his eyes that it was dim so that he could not see and then he called Esau from a standpoint of blindness watch this now we're about to see what spiritual blindness can do even to the anointing and he said unto him my son and he said unto him behold here i am long reading please let's hurry up he says i do not know the day of my death three now therefore take i pray thee 
the weapons, thy quiver and thy bow. Go to the field and take me some venison. Uh -huh. And make me savory meat such as I love. And bring it to me that I may eat and my soul may bless thee before I die. So Jacob is about to release the anointing. He's about to bless. He's about to speak. I mean Isaac. And then Rebecca. Now look at this. My God. Ah, scriptures. Whatever kills your appetite for scripture is really destroying you. And in the name of Jesus, if your appetite for scripture has died, let it be restored this night. And Rebecca heard, watch this. Rebecca heard a conversation between Isaac and Esau. And Esau went to the field to hunt for venison and to bring it. Six. Rebecca spake to Jacob, her son. He said, Behold, I heard thy father speak unto Esau, thy brother, saying, Bring me venison and make me savory meat that I may eat. Bless you before my death. Eight. Now, therefore, my son, obey my voice according to that which I command thee. Go now to the flock and fetch me then two good kids of the goats, and I will make them savory meat for thy father, such as he loveth. And thou shalt bring it to thy father that he may eat and he may bless thee before his death. Eleven. And Jacob said to Rebekah, his mother, Behold, now watch this, there was a problem. And the problem is that my brother is a hairy man. I am of smooth skin. Although my father is blind, he will feel my body and find out I am not hairy. Read this. Twelve. My father paradventure will feel me and I shall seem to him as a deceiver, 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 deceiver. Take note there. And I shall bring a curse upon me and not a blessing. Next verse. And his mother said to him, Upon me be thy curse, my son. Only obey my voice and go fetch me them. 14. And he went and fetched and brought them to his mother. And his mother made savory meat such as his father loved. 15. And Rebekah took what? Goodly raiment. Everybody say blindness. That blindness can cause you to perceive, but you do not perceive reality. <laughs>
he took goodly raiment of our eldest son Esau, which were with her in the house, and put them on Jacob, the younger son, 16. And she put the skin of the kids and the goat upon his hands and upon the smooth of his neck. And she gave him the savory meat, and he went to meet his father, 18. And he came to his father and said, My father, watch this. And he said, Here am I. He says, Who art thou, my son? Next verse. And Jacob said to his father, I am what? Esau, thy firstborn. I have done according as thou badest me. Arise, I pray thee, sit and eat my venison, that thy soul will bless me. 20. And Isaac said to his son, How is it that you have found it quickly? Some things in life don't happen fast. What suddenly happened that you just came fast with this kind of result? He said, and he said, Because the Lord thy God brought it to me. Next verse. And Isaac said to Jacob, Come near, I pray thee, that I may feel thee, my son, whether thou be my very son or not. Remember, this problem was founded upon blindness. That if the eyes of Isaac was opened, the possibility of this deception would not even start. Are we together now? And now, because the eye is blind, he will have to make do with other inferior faculties of perception and now expose himself to the ministry of this one who is called the God of this world and that he operates by deviated men from reality. Now, don't forget this is an anointed man about to bless. 22 is a mystery I do not want you to forget in your life. Look up, please. And Jacob went near unto Isaac his father and felt him and said, The voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. This is a mystery. I'm hearing Jacob's voice, but because I do not have perceptions, I can think it is Esau. So I'm about to, I'm about to mistransfer the blessing. Because my eyes are dim and I will have to depend on my hearing and my touching. Now a possibility to manipulate me exists. I am hearing Jacob's voice. But I cannot deny that Jacob is not hairy. I mean, you, you do not have hair in one day. Now Jacob, Isaac is confused. Because blindness has opened up a possibility. Although he is hearing the voice of Jacob. He's feeling Esau, who is not Esau. Next verse. And he discerned him not, because his hands were hairy as his brother's, as his brother Esau's hands. So he did what? Blessed him. With all the anointing that was on Isaac, the mother connives with Jacob. And they have two limitations. One. You cannot change your voice, but I know your father will want to feed you. And he said, let me put hair upon you, so that he will think it is Jacob. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, that that old serpent has come with great fury, that he can go around to deceive. And you are seeing the operation of this happen. Watch this. And he said, thou art my son Esau. Now, here, this is not what I'm teaching tonight, but isn't it amazing how deeply spiritual these men knew? They had an understanding of the spirit. There was something that was within Isaac's spirit that when it came out on whoever, it would produce a continuity of the result that they had from their lineage. Results are truly spiritual. That there is something that can come upon a man and control possibilities. Here's what we're seeing now. Here I am, 25. He says, bring it near to me and I will eat of my son's venison and my soul may bless thee. And he brought it near and he did eat. And he brought him wine and he drank. 26. Oh dear. And his father...
And he came near and kissed him and smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said, See, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Lord hath blessed. Therefore, a blessing is about to be misappropriated, although anointed, but blindness is about to channel something now there are all kinds of dimensions of perceiving this but this is the message that i want to communicate to you today that he said therefore god give thee of the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine 29 let people serve thee and nations bow to you that means these results are not ordinary Something happens in the secret that produces this outcome in the public. Here is a man who is blind and yet he is calling men who he has not seen. That wherever you find them, I make them serve you. The blessing. Abraham did it to me. Now my dear son, I cannot go to the grave. There are things we carry to control the results that we command. And now we, we exercise dominion in our days. Not because of who. There were mysteries that we carried. We preserved like treasures. Now I cannot die with it. If I die with it, you will suffer. And let me release this upon you. And he's saying, be Lord over thy brethren. And let thy mother's son bow down to you. Cause be everyone that cause you. And bless be he that blessed thee 30 and it came to pass as soon as isaac made the end of blessing jacob jacob was yet scarce gone from his presence the presence of isaac his father that esau his brother came in from his hunting spiritual blindness a man is about to bless and the blessing goes to the wrong place not because anything affected his anointing but something affected his eyes are, are you getting this now are you learning something who see him they will not see him he felt him and did his best to be sure that it was esau and the blessing went to jacob the bible says it came to pass as soon as isaac okay 31 i'll find some of me one or two more verses and i'll stop and he also had made a savory meat and brought it unto his father and said unto his father let my father arise and eat of his son's venison that my soul may bless thee and isaac his father said unto him who art thou and he said i am thy son thy firstborn esau next verse and Isaac trembled very exceedingly and said, Who? Where is he that had taken venison and brought it to me? And I have eaten of all before thou camest, and I have blessed him, and yea, he shall be blessed. That it is possible for God to speak concerning a man but where your lifting comes blindness can be casted on that person and there will be a misappropriation of prophetic blessings and another will take your place in destiny listen the Bible says the things that are written are for time they are for our learning so that we through the comfort of scripture may find hope he's blessed he shall be blessed next verse and when Esau had this word please look up ah, may God take away may God take away the limitation of science and the carnality on our days on our spiritual life look at this please look at this a full grown man who is a professional hunter breaks down and is crying like a baby why did he lose the ability to hunt? That the realm of the spirit is so programmed that dominion is not ordinary. He stands with his skill to hunt. He stands with the animal and yet he weeps. Jacob, what did you do? 
you took away something that would have connected me to a strange lineage of dominion this is what will make situations and circumstances bow to me you've heard me say it is what is on you that controls what is around you it is not a lie he cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry why will an adult cry the father did not lose the ability to speak that means there is something about the blessing that we need to learn he said it's gone he said father bless me even me oh my father find something and tell me he said thy brother came in subtly and had taken away the blessing is real it is tangible it can move from place to place the blessing is not like matches that you can carry and say there's another one there is an exact body of spiritual mysteries that can be cast upon a man that will turn things around in your life this is what left isaac to esau blindness made an anointed man to misbless i'd like you to pray whilst you are seated Lord, open my eyes. Take away spiritual blindness from my life. That my place in destiny will not be sabotaged through blindness. Hallelujah. Blindness made the anointing to be wrongly directed. Blindness. Blindness short circuited the potential of the anointing. Scripture number two, Genesis chapter 19. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.